In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a mind map template in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have just put the icon here and when I click, it will show you the mind map and then the first idea I have put it here and again the sub ideas for the first idea and then when I click, it will show me the second idea with some different colors again whatever the ideas here and then the third idea and fourth idea. If you want, you can make the slide something like this also. The second slide I have just put just like this also without the heading here. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide, go to insert, click on icons. Icons are available only in the latest version of PowerPoint. And if you're using old versions like 2010 or 2013 or 2007, then this particular feature is not available. You have to go and search on the net or I have provided a video on the icons. You can go and search on my channel. So for this, I'm going to select medical and I'm going to select this particular icon and click on insert. And increase the size by holding the shift key. You can see here and I'm going to rotate it, rotate just say horizontal and I'm going to fill this color with light color. Go to view tab and enable the guides. I'm going to drag it here and put it here in the center and then I'm going to add the oval shape for that go to insert shapes and select the oval shape hold the shift key to draw the oval shape you can see here and change shape outline make it no outline and shape fill select any color of your choice I'm just going to add it here you can see here and I'm going to add one more this shape which is the circle hollow again draw by holding the shift key reduce the width and give the same color shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to put it here and this shape i'm going to increase it hold the shift key you can see here let me just increase it so this is okay and i'm going to select this shape right mouse click go to format shape and i'm going to make it transparent and select this one and press Ctrl G so it becomes a group you can see here now I can add any text here go to insert text box and I'm just going to type called mind map select the text and bring it here make the font white I reduce the font size and I'm going to choose the font called Oswald and any font of your choice you can just add it here let me just go to view remove the guides you can see here now I'm going to add different ideas uh, during the brainstorming session we get so many ideas so I'm going to select this press ctrl D I'm just going to reduce the size a little bit by holding the shift key you can see here and I'm going to give some different color any color of your choice you can give you can see here and I'm going to select this text press ctrl D and I will just say first idea let me just reduce the size I will just say first or in caps first idea or any text of your choice you can just add it here and then I'm just going to select the inner circle you can see here press ctrl C again click outside and press ctrl V right and this one I can just select this and group it press ctrl G to group it so it becomes one and wherever you like you want you can just add it so this is my first idea I'm going to just press ctrl D I'm going to bring it here and this is my second idea let me just change the text this is my second idea I'm going to change the color to some other color you can see here so this also the same color then press ctrl D this is my third idea again change the color of your choice and then the fourth idea if you want you can add more then in that case you have to reduce the size because this much size is not fit for that Maybe I'm just going to select this and the same color. 
so you can see here this is my fourth idea now and I'm going to connect this for that go to insert shapes and select this particular connector curved and you can just connect anywhere as you like and if you want to give some different color you can just select this press ctrl D I'm going to connect like this press ctrl D again ctrl D this is the last one so you can see here we have got four ideas so I've just put the four ideas here now within that idea each idea we have got the sub ideas so I'm just going to use that one for example this particular shape I'm going to put it here and if you want you can add some detailed text I'll just say text box your text center align white color and reduce the size maybe 10 you can see here and I'm going to group this press ctrl G to group it and press ctrl D maybe you've got one more sub idea within one if you want you can reduce the size and then you want to add further this one divide press ctrl D and I'm going to reduce the size you can see here and one more I'm just going to add it I'm just going to keep it here now it's time to join this for that go to insert shapes and I'm just going to select a line here select the line and if you want you can give the dotted lines and the same color you can use again press ctrl D I'm going to connect this one with this ctrl D so and again from this idea we have got one more so again I'm going to select this press ctrl D and I'm going to connect with this you can see here so likewise if you want you can just add more also so let me just do the second one now for that I'm going to select this press ctrl D I'm going to bring it here again I want to add one more sub idea again press ctrl D reduce the size you can see here I'm going to copy it here or if the text is very small you can add the text outside also ctrl D there's one more here again ctrl D there's one more here and again as usual I have to change the color with the color which I have used here the blue you can see here the same color you can just press F4 key to repeat you can see here and then I'm going to copy this line press ctrl D and again start connecting the join one by one you can see here again press ctrl D and again this is going to connect with this one and one more let me just move this so you can see here I have completed first and second we need to do the similar for third and fourth so once you add all the details uh, for the point third and fourth you can just uh, do the animation simple animation for that go to the animation tab enable the animation I'm going to select the first this line and I'm going to add animation more entrance effects select stretch and click OK and the stretch I'm going to say from left so it comes something like this and all this you can see here I'm just selecting all highlighting all with the mouse and press ctrl G to group it so it becomes one and for this I'm going to add animation more entrance effect the same stretch click OK and this should happen after previous so if I play it comes something like this so this one I will say instead of across I will say from left you can see here or you can say from bottom also so left looks good so if I play again it comes something like this 
So similarly, I can just do the second one. I'm going to select this line animation painter, click on this and effect, make it from right. And then I have to group this. Press control G to group it again, select this animation painter, click on this and change the direction from right. So if I play, you can see here it comes like this. So once you add, then do the animation for third and for fourth. That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.